Hey, everybody, Deanna Lay, CEO and founder of ICAG, I Know a Guy slash Gal, back with another ICAG interview. Today, I have the privilege and honor of interviewing one of my very, very good friends, the Allison Hillman in BTP by Allison. She's going to tell us all about her fantastic photography and branding business. Allison, I'm so glad you're here today. Hello. Glad to be here. <laughs> I know you are. We're going to have a good time. So BTP by Allison. What's the BTP mean, my friend? Been there photography. Super simple. Yeah. How did you come up with that? Tell me, tell me a little bit about how the, how your business got started. <laughs> so my business has evolved a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, which is one of the things that has turned me into the branding expert. I got named that. I didn't even, I didn't sign up for that. And it, I got signed up for it. Um, <laughs> I love it. Um, so we had less than a seller experience with our wedding photos. Oh. And we've had less than, I mean, there's so many stories of, different things that I've experienced, whether it's in my business itself, when I'm helping other business owners or just in life in general. And, um, so when I say I've been there, boy, howdy, I have. So that's where now that's why it has stayed my business same. Cause there's been a couple of times when people are like, I'm just surprised you haven't rebranded it. And I'm like, no, it's earning its name. So yeah. Yeah. I actually really like that because I think we've all had a bad experience or heard about a bad experience with a photographer. And looking back on our wedding photos, like we paid a lot of money for mediocre work. And yeah. when you know different, you choose different, hopefully. But by the time that event has come and gone, it's too late. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're hiring right before the event <laughs> And it's funny, like as you things as you lead up to it, depending on what you're doing, family photography, you may not know because you book it and two weeks later you're there. But like, you know, there are signs people throw. I mean, it's like soccer and football flags fly everywhere. Really? So and it's yeah. not too late until the second that that special occasion starts. So. What do you specialize in when it comes to photography? Because there's a whole gamut of stuff. So let's talk about photography first, and then we'll talk about the branding. I only do families and kiddos, weddings and events, and business stuff. That's it. Okay. That's it. So if I want a headshot? You can call me. Okay. I'm a girl. If I have 35 people that I want photographed for a family reunion... Call Marcy Handler first and listen to her story. And then she's going to tell you to call me. That's right. If I have a kiddo graduating from high school. Oh, definitely call me. Whether okay. it's college or high high school or whatever. That's well, they branding. And they're, like my super, they're my super powers. Graduation now. Can whatever. I <laughs> Oh, well, kindergarten graduation would be so fun. They're hilarious. Aren't they though? Um, okay. So events, like let's say I'm having a, uh, a backyard barbecue and I want it documented. Yeah. I've done everything from backyard parties to the national tourism week luncheon for explore St. Louis. And I feel like everything in between. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. So why did you get started? Cause you didn't, First of all, let me get this out of the way. You're not just a hobby photographer. This is not something you do on the weekends. You have a full-time job doing something else. This is your This business. is my full-time job. Yes. Um, which is hilarious when people are like, so what do you do? <laughs> this is it, friend. Um, so I had a pretty successful operations and HR career, and it was literally killing me. And my mm -hmm. husband came home. 2017 ish at the end of 2017 I had turned down a pretty big gig to be at a job that I hated oh, um, wow. I worked with really great people um you and I have a similar story in that I saved a company a lot of money 
Yeah. You made a company a lot of money. And I was sitting in a boardroom and wasn't being heard. Mm. Even though like I'm being asked questions and I was like, I don't have to be here. Because Jason and I, my husband's Jason, and we had already decided that I was going to leave state. It just was a matter of when. And I came home and I was like, so I gave my notice and he was like, oh, all right. So we're doing this. <laughs> so April 1st, 2018, April Fool's Day. Oh, that's awesome. was my first day in the entre- full-time entrepreneurial world. So. I but it's not the first time you picked up a camera. You have been no, I've been that about photography 30. for years, right? 23 years I've been clicking buttons on a camera. Started on film, moved to digital. I remember the first time I got to use a digital camera mm-hmm. and I realized I wasn't going to be yelled at for wasting film. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> so, and it was just very weird. So, um, my it's- journalism teacher, when she would send me out, would literally go, this is how much film I'm sending you with. This is all you get. I don't need <laughs> any more. I'm like, okay. I would remember, you know, you'd only get like 24 shots or something like that. And you'd be like not even halfway through where you were. And then you run out of film. You darn it. In fact, we were just cleaning out the junk drawer the other day. And I found a roll of film. And I don't know. Chris if it's still... camera. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good to know. Cause I don't even know. Oh, where Chris Cor- camera. Um, the other one. Crapola. Creep core clothes. The other one. That starts with the S. I'll look it up. The Googles. <laughs> I feel so bad because I believe in shopping local and it's where I go get my photo paper for. Oh. This is where I buy my backdrop paper. Like this is where I go and I can oh, see nice. the parking lot. Well, that's good. Let's support local. What's the name? I don't know. Schaefer. 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 Chillers. No. Chillers. Schillers. I'm like, I know it's, I know what it, yeah. I was right okay. there. Tip of my I'm like, tongue. I can see the parking lot. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. So they can, I can do all the last things. time I was in there, they could. Okay. Fantastic. Giving them a call. So what is your why, my friend? It's not just making people smile. I know that. And you're very, very good. You speak, you speak teen. You are able to get people to smile and come together in ways that it's like your superpower, but why do you do what you do? So we lost my dad in 20, 2004, um, very unexpectedly. And I remember sitting with my mom going through pictures and I have two pictures of just the two of us. Mm-hmm. And I was six in one. And I think I was four and a half in the other. And I remember I was four and a half because you know how the, that age is like, I am four and a half. Yeah. And I remember that. Um, but yeah, he, w- I was 17. Y'all can do the math on how old I am now. Um, but I was 17 when he passed and it just, that sucks. Yeah. And um, when I'm doing family shoots, one of the things that's very important to me is if we haven't done pictures together in a while, or it's your first time, um, it's even in your contract that if you don't do the meet Allison session, whether it's it's better if it's over Zoom, um, but you can do it over the phone too. I ask some pretty hard questions um, because I want to know if there's any weird dynamics in the family. Um, I have a family and I'm not going to mention their name, um, but they they have a stepdaughter and they have two kids that are theirs and then the stepdaughter that's in the mix and um at the family shoot I was doing each of the kids and the stepdaughter didn't come over immediately and I was like you're getting a picture with your stepmom like I've literally been doing your picture like this is not your first time with me come on because those relationships do matter and it just lord willing they're going to be there they're going to be 90 years old when they go yeah and not almost 60 like my dad Mm. So it just, moments are precious. You don't ever want a family to have to go through what you went through where you're looking, like not just looking, but trying desperately to find a photo with 
you know with i hope it's it. as easy as you can't find the files that i sent you and you call me and say hey can you send me this gallery again i want it to be that easy for you yeah yeah i can say that that's important friends listen up and then do what she says because you don't get that time back but photos do last forever you don't re realize how precious they are until they are yeah. so so what do you love most about what you do tell us a fun story Um, I love dancing the Cupid shuffle with brides and wedding parties. Mm -hmm. Um, I love doing the wobble at parties. Um, I love that moment. <laughs> so if you've ever done a family shoot with me, I always put the spouses together and make them do a picture of just the two of them. And I'm not going to tell you what the question is, but I ask them the question the same question every time and I don't know if you can hear the squeals outside but the little girls must be home from school because they're playing outside my house right now and it makes me very happy anyway oh, sorry I adore oh I love kids having fun yeah, and I love fun. that it doesn't matter how cold it is they're playing outside I love those kids anyway um because at first Chase is always snapping and I'm like is nope not mine that's the kids playing <laughs> um, so um sorry squirrel um I'm so glad these are live recorded and that is why what I love about what I know um so there's a moment because most of the time especially if it's the first time you've done family pictures in a while you didn't take and even if you have kids or kid or whatever you don't haven't taken pictures just the two of you professionally since you got married yeah and I love cat I do two things and I'll, I'll tell one of them so I have the couple hold hands and walk towards me and I tell them to walk like they're drunk and they bump into each other and trip. And, and I always say the same, almost the same thing, depending on the couple, it doesn't work for everybody. Please, please do not knock her down because I will have to point and laugh and take pictures of it. And she'll never let me come back and do your pictures again. <laughs> so, but it just gives them a chance to loosen up. But there's this always this moment where they look at each other, whether they really like, I can kind of tell if couples don't like each other anymore when they show up, mm -hmm. but they always get a little gooey in the middle is what I call it when they're doing these pictures, because it's, they remember that, oh, he is cute just yeah. because he didn't take the trash out before we left or whatever. Yeah. So just, I love that moment. Um, and I love, I love planning senior sessions because I always involve them because they come up with the coolest ideas. Mm. Um, and I love in branding when women see pictures of themselves because I love turning the camera around and saying look how beautiful you are and I mean it every time yeah and they don't always see it in that moment and then they get their gallery back and they're like oh thank goodness goodness for professional photos I'm like no that's your face that's that's, that's just your how face. you look oh so those are some of the things I love most about my job. Oh, that's fantastic. So how about misconceptions? What, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of information out there about photographers, what photographers can do. What, what are some, some common misconceptions that people may have about your industry? Uh, just because I have a camera doesn't make them a photographer. Um, uh, here, here. I said, um, I used to call those photographers, F-A-U-X, photographers. Nice. It used to be a hashtag, and then I realized that was probably petty. Um, I'm a photographer, not a, anyway. Um, no, like, how much education goes into what we do to stay up? Like, there's a new thing right now. I saw it on TikTok the other day where people want blurry photos. I got a lot of photographers. I'll send you their names in St. Louis, and that they have been training for this um okay. it I don't know I just <sighs> there's so much education that has to go in new trends new things that come available like Lightroom just um Photoshop uh, Adobe Lightroom I just uh, they just did an upgrade and the way they did the brushes I had to go and watch a video for an hour and a half just to make sure because I was editing pictures and cussing the computer because I didn't know 
I was like, this is harder than it should be. Yeah. Um, so I just went and did a Google and watched an hour and a half video. And trust me, I want that hour and a half of my life back, but it's going to save me in editing. And I learned something cool. So that I wish Adobe would do and they finally did it. So, okay. Yeah. Helps I, me edit spy stuff. I don't think that people realize that photography trends change as fashion trends change as times change uh, you know and so that leads me into branding as well and we have a couple minutes left so you have something called a brand huddle where mm -hmm. if a business is looking to make sure that their brand is on target um, you can actually help so what does that look like so uh, you answer a questionnaire for me and then we talk about goals that you have coming up and what that looks like and why you have those goals. That's the big thing I want to know is the why behind them. Mm -hmm. And then we talk about what we just have a conversation around it. And I, and I am a pretty, pretty good temperature check person that I can be like, okay, so here's, and Deanna, you know this, and you've said this about me a lot. I don't sugarcoat. And if you want something sugarcoated, you go to a bakery because I'm going to show you some tough love and be like, hey, this is what I think is keeping you from this. And yeah. here are some ideas. And then I send a packet after we're done that kind of gives the cliff notes about what I said of what I learned and what. And I also give some feedback of here's what I learned about your business and what you're projecting to people which is also a good thing for them to see because it may or may not be what they want people to understand of what they do. Yeah. Uh, and then I talk about how moving forward, if they want to bring me into the conversation, we can do some consulting and things like that and move their brand forward because branding isn't just a logo right? or the colors you use. Yeah. Um, the brand message side of things, in my opinion, is just as if not more important than a great logo oh for sure like the consistency of the message yeah. across all avenues across all plateaus and then making sure that lines up with who you are as a person and what you want for the future of your business so important yeah and I was just talking to somebody about you the other day because of the fact that you know if I ever want like the hard truth or like somebody like no nonsense answer whatsoever. If I want fluff, I don't go to Allison Hillman. I <laughs> like you. you know how many times I have to tell girlfriends and stuff. I'm like, you, do you want me to answer that question? Cause I will. Yeah. You're touchy feely in all the, all the ways as a friend should be. But when it comes to like business and stuff like that, if I have a hard decision to make, I go to Allison Hillman because she's very, um, that's a huge compliment. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Because you know, you don't put emotions into things. A lot of times as business owners, we put emotions into everything that we do. And so we need somebody to come alongside of us that doesn't have those same emotions we have and is able to look at what you're doing as a whole, love on you in a way that, you know, you know, we need to be loved on, but then deliver a message that's like, hey, you may want this, but it's not what's best for your business. You need to. <laughs> and your husband is who taught me to implement that myself because I'm hard. Um, and that's another misconception for what I do. My number one job is not customer service. Mm. Like I'm going to take care of you and I'm going to do a good job. Yeah. But my number one job is not to make you happy. And I like, I would never full out say it that way to a client, but that is not a photographer's number one job because at the same time, like when you say, but I want it this way, well, I'm sorry, but when we discuss this, you signed a contract and if I let it slide with you, there's a mile long thing of people yeah. behind you that are just going to wait for me to do that again. So, it, and that sucks about my job. Well, and the fact that you show up in your professional capacity in ways that you know will work best. 
Because again, mm -hmm. everything that you photograph has a ton of emotions attached to it. And you have to come to the event or the shoot with no emotions other than being excited that you're there, loving on the people there, but knowing exactly what needs to be done and how it needs to be done in the best way that it will show yep. up. That's the beauty of Allison Hillman. And um, so you are a pretty big deal. What? Stop it. Ta tell the world why you're such a big deal in St. Louis. Like what? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, it's a, um, it starts with an A, you know. And okay. I made St. Louis Magazine A-list finals top three 2021. Um, I'm one of the few people that shoot for Real Producers Magazine. Um, that's a big deal. I didn't realize that was a big deal <laughs> until it's my publisher told me so. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm a big deal because my clients have made me a big deal. Um, you know, I have fallen in love with, I've cried at every wedding I've shot. I fall in love with these families. Um, one of my superpower, like one of my superpowers is, um, helping kids on the spectrum survive the photo shoot because nine times out of 10, they hate it. Um, and they're my favorites. I have two boys that come see me every year and um, it normally involves me ordering something for them and mailing it to their house. It was fidget spinners this year. And you know what? That's okay. Because, um, you know, it. that's what they needed. A promise of fidget spinners and whatever. So um, my I'm a big deal because my clients have made me a big deal. They trust me with their precious moments and you don't take that lightly. I don't. I am humbled every time this, um, the 2022 holiday season has humbled me in a way that I don't think I have before because there was literally a Saturday. Um, I did eight photo shoots and I only had one new family and the rest of them had used me for three years or more. And that just knowing, and one of them brought my kid a present. Like that's the stuff like that lets me know that I've really done my job of, they know how much I value their family because they're loving on mine too. I love that. So yeah. And so how do people get a hold of you? What's the easiest way? I know you're all over the interweb. Oh, good so grief. You wrap up. Whatever's easiest for you. So I'm on Instagram. I am soon to be, um, I'm not supposed to, well, I'm, I'm figuring out TikTok. So am I. So am figuring I. Figuring it out. Um, <laughs> soon to be on TikTok. Um, BTP by Allison. And Allison has one L. So if you Google that yeah. and you click on the thing that's easiest for you to contact me, I got you. Yeah. I love that. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And I told you it was going to be longer than five minutes. <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. Everybody, seriously, for your your all your photography needs, um, within the spectrum of what Allison is an expert at, just reach out to her. She'll tell you whether she's a good fit or not. And she'll refer you or to I'll somebody. Find you someone. Yeah, exactly. But trust me. I'm a big deal. I know her. people. That's right. Hey, we're big deals, everybody. <laughs> I know a guy or guy. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. So get in touch with her. And if you are a business owner, entrepreneur, thinking about starting your business or have been in business for a while and everything in between, really get with her on her brand huddle. Your business will not be the same afterwards and you will be a lot better because of it. So thank First you. 30 everybody. minutes is free. There you go. It's my favorite four letter F word. So why not? What's stopping you? Have a great a day, everybody. Allison, thank as you. Always, a pleasure. Bye. Bye. <laughs>